All right, here today with my uh, Tika T3 and a 223. Uh, I'm gonna do a little offhand shoot. I've been doing some already. Uh, I'm gonna shoot four more shots up here, and then we're gonna go up here and take a look at this target. Uh, been hammering it pretty good here at 100 yards. Uh, it's a nice cool day, 38, 39 degrees. Winds blowing a little bit, makes it a little tough to hold still, but it's gonna be offhand, uh, 100 yards. Let's see what happens. All right, we'll walk up and take a look here. Turn our safety light on. These targets I'm shooting at, it's got a little, it's a, it's a burger target. Uh, I think they're new this year from them. It's just something you can print off the internet. It just shows you the vital areas so you can uh, practice shooting for that. It's probably not uh, really meant for offhand shooting, but it works. So, And the running deer shoots that I'm practicing for, this is uh, what I'm going to be kind of aiming at, but it's going to be you know, life-size animal, so. All right, here we are. Let's try to get this focused in right. All right, so the ones that have the little grass in it is the ones that I shot prior to uh, starting with the Tika, the 223. But I got one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, and the little heart area there. One, two, three, four, and the, I guess what would be a little bigger area. It's probably still too small to be the lungs. But then uh, one, two outside. Looks like I clipped the paper down there with one. So, all in all, not too bad. I'm uh, pretty happy with how it was shooting. I mean, four shots right there inside of that uh, little small area. But, I don't know, a couple inches big. But, it pays to practice shooting offhand. Get out and do it, because, uh, it's not something that comes natural. You gotta get out and practice it, so. All right, have a good day. Thanks for watching.